think it's an important concept to think about artist studios. Standing in the presence of a studio gives you an idea of maybe how they went about making artistic decisions and how their works of art actually are reflected in their studios. The site itself is as it was when my grandparents lived here and then as my father lived here afterward. My father never wanted the site to change because he loved it as a child and that's why it still exists as it does. My grandfather loved Indian art. He started collecting Indian pottery when he first came to Taos. When they first started coming, there were about 25 Anglos in the town and the rest were the Spanish people and then the Indians, of course, in the Pueblo about two miles away. It was a very frontier little town. The Tau Society of Artists started in 1915. By that time, there were six painters who were working in Taos. These were all professional painters interested in the landscape and the light and the frontier quality of the area and the Indian subject matter. For the most part, Taos paintings are scenes of Indian life, really. And that was one of the things that the Santa Fe Railway liked about his paintings was that they showed a peaceful side of Indian life. The Santa Fe Railway, of course, was trying to encourage people to come to the West and ride on the train. And so that was a good image for them. And they bought a painting from Kaus for 23 years, which they then used on their calendars to advertise their railway. In 1908, Sharp decided to buy a house here. So they owned adjacent properties and even had common walls between their two houses. They became very close friends and colleagues. The site now is a historic site and the architecture itself has not changed since my grandfather passed away in 1936.